Yeah. You're live now. <laughs> good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. You see, we've got uh, myself and um, Megan's Fearless Adventures. Oh, so I couldn't see the comments. There we go. Oh, okay. So she's going to take us on a, an adventure today um, into the world of baking. Oh, so we're going to say good morning to everybody. So Joe fix it for you. Of course, naturally is always first. Always. Good I think morning. Was here at 3 a.m. Yeah. Well, it's 7.53 this morning. So mm. he was here quite early. Um, and Vir Virginia Alexander, she said good morning, Ginger, Megan, and Joe. Oh, you did the thumbs up. Oh, me? Yeah. Yeah. I Do the heart. Up. Do the heart and throw the hearts out. Oh, does it? Did it work? Um, no. Yeah, you have to do it like there, there you is. go. Nice. I love it. <laughs> That's cool. Like, oh, there we go. Look at that. Yeah, <laughs> Jesse does that all the time. That is so funny. I feel like <laughs> I'm in. Um, I don't know if you would know this. Uh, I think you would. Um, '90s babies things. I feel like I'm in that Missy Elliott video. Where she's like room room <laughs> and like the cameras in the corner and she's like in that <laughs> like I was about to go break dance this morning. <laughs> and <laughs> lazy days ahead with Jesse and Lisa. That would be Jesse because pro Lisa's probably making his breakfast. Oh, I gotta stop you right there already. I'm sorry. Okay, so, okay. Um, Jeez, I mentioned Jesse and she said stop the bus. Stop because Nisi said, whoever made this jelly needs uh, featured in Food and Wine magazine. Because nice. she said, this <laughs> jelly, she said, whoever made this ain't playing in the kitchen. Okay, They don't play in the kitchen. They are serious. They are on it. And I said, you like it? And she said, that is on my egg sandwich every morning. <laughs> Nice. Yes. Miss Lisa throws it down in the kitchen now. Let me tell you. She don't you. play. She don't play. Yeah. <laughs> I was dead at her. She said, that papaya jelly. Hmm. Hmm. That's something else, girl. I was like, <laughs> uh, Jamie's Country Living is here. She said, good morning. Good morning, everybody. She said, congratulations on monetization. Thank you so much. That is all thanks to this girl right here because she got me on track with it so talk about miss organizer and you're gonna be so proud of me so proud of, i mean my have the tables turned you know mom are you proud of me now it's megan are you proud of me <laughs> i'm so excited i feel like the last couple of days um she's nothing but business in the kitchen um just <laughs> that i feel like we've been going through the great depression for the last four days why because we haven't been together oh yeah um, so i just feel like i'm mourning the loss of nothing but <laughs> mommy just, time yeah it is literally the great depression i feel like i'm really having to pick myself up every morning and get out of bed and just <laughs> along do something <laughs> i don't know mm. okay so also we have annie good evening to miss annie she's tucked into bed i'm sure um Everybody's saying hello. There is Miss Rebecca Touched by Yarn. Excuse me. 49 more. Hello, hello. Thank you for coming in. Uh, that channel is new to me. So mm -hmm. I'll have to go check you out. 49 more. Look, let me make sure and write that down. You're good. Um, Baby, write this down. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Suburban Hillbilly is here. Um, Grace and Fire. Good morning, Glenda. How are you? Christy Betts is here. Jerry <laughs> is here from Butler Family Farm. Good morning. <laughs> Hold the phone, folks. I'm, I'm sure I'm behind. <coughs> Just a little yes. bit, but I can't, and I can't look at us and look at, um, the comments so i'm having to like open up another screen um, oh okay yeah it's good i had a jar oh 49 more has had a jar of lisa's uh jam so nice. yeah you are you are definitely in the elite club because uh 
<laughs> she does. She yeah. She sends it out. She mm, she's good in the kitchen. Who got yeah. home? Said good morning. Good morning. Um, let's see. Uh, I don't want to forget anybody. I don't want to miss anybody. There is Wendy with Hardnack Farms. How are you? And how is that house coming, lady? I know you're ready to be in there. Good morning and good morning, Jamie. Yes. <laughs> so, Megan, yes. Megan's Fearless Adventures. Oh, oh first, let me tell you, okay. while you were doing the things and the things in the kitchen, like your Miss Lisa, mm -hmm. um, what I did. I cleaned out my closet. Whoa. And two garbage bags full of clothes. If I haven't worn it. Did you save me anything? I was throwing left and right. Did you want anything? I don't know. Did you save me anything? Yeah, I did not. I But I still have the bags. If you want me to hang on to them, you can go through them. I would have been like dad with the tools after they've been sitting there. I would have been trying to like, what is this? You know what? Never mind. Let me walk away. Let me just walk throw away. It, just throw it and I'm gone. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's <laughs> awesome. Does it feel better? It does. It does. I feel really good about it. Um, I had lots of room to move things around. So you can tell it's spring because people are cleaning things out. And yeah, it just makes you feel all uh, springy and good. So, hey, use. Kevin with Tuber <laughs> Chat. Thank you. Thank you. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Um, is people you? You said people are cleaning things out. <laughs> well, it's spring. I mean, everybody's doing freezer cleanouts. Um, I've seen freezer, hashtag freezer clean out a bunch of times. Um, thank you so much, Kevin. He shared it on Reddit. Thank you very, very much. Oh, that's awesome. Um, Let's see, uh, you know, they're starting their spring gardens. So we've got spring planting. I can't plant just yet because we were actually like uh, night before last, we had major frost. Uh, two weeks, I think it's about two to three weeks before I can direct sow anything Amazing. from our last uh, frost date. But so, yeah, so everybody's doing all the spring things. So I decided before... So Megan hasn't doesn't have to watch me do this and moan and groan about it. Uh, I figured I would go ahead and clean out my closet. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Oh, suburban hillbilly, you have no idea. I was sweating yesterday because it went from being like 29 degrees yesterday morning to 60 during the day. And I dressed for 29. And by the time I was halfway through that closet, throwing clothes and everything else, I was like, Okay, I'm working up a sweat. I need to start delayering. Oh my god! Take gosh. some of this stuff off. Who oh, Jamie. Jamie has put out a few cold weather crops already. Oh really? So I feel that's like awesome. Once you get into the closet, you don't even realize how bad it is until. No, you don't. And there were some of those stack things that I have stacked. You know, mm -hmm. oh man, I just. I just started getting rid of stuff. I was like, nope, I haven't worn this. I haven't worn that. I had two of one thing. I was like, oh, I don't need two of those. So let me get yeah. rid of that. <laughs> there is Miss Linda Peterson. Good morning, morning. I am yeah. very proud of you, though. That's good. Thank you. Wendy said, uh, this weather is insane. Um, so, yeah, well, you inspired me. Mm -hmm. Linda Peterson said um, that she's going to be getting one to four inches of snow. And thank you for saying smash that like button too. Yes. What? Snow? Yes. Thumbs up. Do it so Jesse can see. I can't do it, but you can do it. What happened? I don't know. Give it a second. Maybe it's just. Okay. There we go. Hey. Oh, hey. that's the other one. Hey. 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 I don't know why it's not doing the thumb. <laughs> oh, there we go. Hmm. There you go. There you go. Say, I heart Miss Lisa's jam. I do. I heart Miss Lisa's jelly jam. Jelly oh, jam. There you go. <laughs> 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 I'm going to face my upper kitchen cabinets. I haven't opened them much lately. Oh, wow. Yeah, there might be some surprises that you forgot about. And Megan doesn't have that problem because she can't reach my upper cabinets without climbing on the counter. And she doesn't really want to do that. So I'm not afraid to go there if I have to, though. So, <coughs> yes. 
I need to clean out my own pantry. Shoot. <laughs> That's probably going to be taking place soon. Here uh -oh. okay. Yeah. Christy said, hello, everybody. And sorry if she missed anybody. She was in the middle of draining an abscess on her cat. Yuck. Oh, That's what no. she said. Hopefully he will heal now. Oh my goodness. I hope so. Hey, Scott Rambo oh. Rooms. How are you this morning? Hello. Thank you. Christy. <laughs> yes, Christy. Prayers, prayers for the kitty cat. Uh, we love us some Megan and Ginger Snap. Thank you. We love you too. <laughs> yeah, they're equally as proud of me. Um, so, you know, we're all about the deals. I got some bananas this morning for what we're making. I don't need all of these, but I might use them for something else. And I thought to myself, well, what I don't use, I'll give to the pigs. And I was like, wait a second, there are no pigs here. No. So, anyways. So <laughs> Moving on, she said, moving on. Oh, Buddy Maker 736. You know who that is. Buddy. Yes, yeah. good morning. Good morning. <laughs> so I got bananas because we're going to be making, I'll show you in just a second, banana chocolate chip, banana bread. Anyways, <laughs> banana muffins with chocolate chips in them. Okay, uh, that sounds good. My bananas that I have at home are not ripe. So Nisi was like, just go to the store. They have a ripe banana section. And I was like, what? And she was like, look in the clearance section. They'll have ripe bananas. So yeah. I was like, okay, didn't believe her. She was like, it's back by the restrooms. It sounded very sketchy. I was like, what are you setting me up for here? <laughs> very nervous. So I went back there and she was not wrong. She did not steer me wrong. And Lo I got behold. all of these bananas for $1.10. Oh my $1. gosh. 10. I can't believe that. That is that's like three bundles of bananas. There was four, but yeah, I used four. I oh, okay. The bowl. Sorry. I already put some in the bowl. So okay. Are... Uh, Scott said, "Hey, Megs." Hi. Uh, so, Suburban hillbilly has to use a step ladder. She has back and foot issues, hence the avoidance. Megan just has short people issues, so yeah. that's the reason she uses a step ladder. <laughs> this is a staple in our kitchen. So yeah, <laughs> that's her step ladder. That's her way. Them. That's her way to get to the top cabinet. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You see how high that cabinet is, right? I didn't put that yes. scale up there. Yes. <laughs> I, I have to climb across it. So this is the banana nut muffin mix that we're going to be using today. Go nanas. Um, go, go nanas. Go nanas. Go nanas. I, I, I thought of nana. Nana nana. <laughs> yeah. Nana make this. So it's intended to be, if you want it to be, a vegan and nut free. Um, banana nut mix but I used some dairy items in here because you can use whatever you want so it calls for bananas ripe if possible maple syrup agave or honey one of the three um, non-dairy milk if you want but you can sub it for your milk of choice and then two tablespoons of melted coconut oil mm. so I'm gonna melt the coconut oil um, but I have everything else prepped and I am going to because yes. I don't have maple syrup, uh -huh. maple honey, but I think I'm going to add a little bit of la vencedora. Because we use this in our banana nut bread, I think. Yes, we do. And I smelled it and I loved it. And so I think I want it in this too. So <laughs> we're going to use some of that. We're going to leave that in the camera because it's so pretty. There we la go. vencedora. I'm just going <laughs> to... So, uh, Wendy at Hardneck Farm said, I miss everyone. This house is stressing me out. I don't get to be on YouTube much, plus planting. Uh, we went, we miss you too, Wendy. Uh, okay. We noticed that you're not here. We miss you immensely. So, good luck with the house. Just think, this is the way I thought, this was my mindset that got me through having twins. A year from now, I will have my body all back to myself and I will have two babies. That's what, that's what kept me going every day. So just think, and me, a year from now, you will be in your house and all of this will be done and behind you. Not saying it won't leave you with a few scars, but um, yes. And Jamie said, we miss you too, Wendy. See, I told you, we all miss you. Um, Jesse said, save those peels, the banana peels, uh -huh. soak them in water and use the banana water on your plants. Ooh. No. I didn't know that. I didn't either. I'm going to have to start doing that. Look at him. He is just full of all kind of information. Some of it is useless. Yeah. Uh, this Some morning, of it is really good. <laughs> this morning I used the Jesse line and Nisi about like, gave me the 
two one two because I said I'm not wrong, but I am always right. I'm never wrong. Okay, well I said it. The Wait, way, okay? I may never be. Wait, hold on. I'll get but, it in a second. Yeah, let him. He's quote channeling it. me right now. Go ahead, Jesse. You're yeah. in my head. Give it to him. Anyways, never. I might not always be right, but I'm never wrong. There you go. Okay. Well, I was, <laughs> I was close. Some, I think that's close. <laughs> Listen. You can freeze bananas, Annie said. Uh, back to when I worked for Lowe's. Stop. Christy, you work for Lowe's? I did too. And so did I. <laughs> I work, Yes, Megan did too. I worked as the delivery coordinator. Uh, was, back when I worked for Lowe's yeah. and couples came in building a house, I joked that I was part marriage counselor yeah it the arguments about the flooring and the appliances are kind of like they're never ending a nightmare yeah oh take wax paper take half of them and put in wax paper around the bananas then freeze them for a later use is what linda peterson said oh okay so there you go she kind of expanded on what annie had said yeah and then that i don't have to use them all today <laughs> or feel inclined to use them all today yeah uh scott said i need to say small person not short people okay. <laughs> how is maggie's lawsuit going <laughs> against me yeah what law lawsuit oh. yeah because <laughs> i referred to you as a short people problem oh okay. <laughs> well i guess i'm getting i'm getting my legal team together <laughs> hey nanny tam good morning to you oh my gosh wait uh yes Open this. And so. Jesse reminded me that uh la vencedora translates to the winner the winner why is the winner this yes like this well it, it sometimes if you get a little on the rim it will uh stick Okay. So you can either run it under a little bit of warm water or you can get one of those squeegee opening things and get it. I'm sweating trying to get this off. Aw, uh, Wendy said, I really love you guys. We really love you too, Wendy. Aw. And we do miss you. We miss you, miss you. Uh, let's see. Jamie is dropping links. Thank you so much. And Jesse, Jamie and Jesse are on it this morning oh she said I, I really love you all dearly that is so sweet we love you too wendy we can't wait for you to 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 get out of that because i know it's stressful gail southern living good morning to you how are you miss gail <coughs> oh uh christy said Oh, <laughs> Jesse said, no, Ginger, all of my info is useless. <laughs> no, oh, you have some good stuff. Um, Christy said, I always put banana peels in the hole when I plant a rose. No, really? there, he, he quoted it. I may not always be right, but I'm never wrong, which I think I said that. So I think I ended up getting it right. I what? shared a sneak peek of my kitchen in the new house on Mrs. Hardneck Farms. Oh, I'm going to have to go watch that. I did not get a notification. So I need to double check that. I hope no one is watching me make this recipe right now. I was hoping to sneak some ingredients because I don't use measuring unless I have to. And with vanilla, I'm not going to measure. Okay. So Megan and I, you know, I'm beside her going. <laughs> and she's like, oh, it's going to be fine, mom. It's fine. Just relax, relax. And I'm like, ah. No, 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 that's too much. That's too little, you know. So you anyway. would think that you're the one with um <laughs> anyways. Um, I'm gonna use yeah. I use this uh honey that you I think you gave me this. It's Blue Ridge honey, wildflower. Oh yes, yes with honeycomb inside. So I use that and oh no, you got that. No, 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 you got that at the Apple House. Oh yeah, it's from East LJ. So yeah, yeah I've used this Lovincedora. I put, I, put some, I put some cinnamon, my milk, my coconut. Listen, let me see if I can get this without spilling. There we go. Yum. Oh, that looks awesome. Yeah. So I got to mix that first and then I'll add in my dry mix. So we're going to just okay. do a little mixy mix while you hang out. Okay. Can you mute? 
just while you mix. Fine. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> I didn't think y'all would want to hear all that. Um, so Jamie's Country Living said, you can also use one tablespoon of Epsom salts to a gallon of water on your flower beds outside. Gail said she loves using banana water. That's awesome. I don't think I've ever heard of that, but I'm going to try that. So 49 more. I'm wondering, I'm assuming that they mean, so did I, 10 years. Uh, probably worked at Lowe's. Oh, Christy worked in the plant department. And then later in hardware, man, I wanted to work in the garden center so bad. I mean, I know they're, they're schlepping bags of uh, soil and mulch and that's not fun. But wow, did I just love seeing all the new plants. But the contractors always came to me to pull their orders together. Yeah, that's they. <laughs> they sometimes they feel a little entitled. <laughs> that's what she said. <laughs> but I just love to listen to Jesse say, but that isn't what I paid for it. Oh, I just giggle a lot. Linda Peterson said, yes, but that's not what I paid for it. That's Megan and the bananas this morning. You know how much bananas are? That's not what I paid for it. <laughs> I'm catching up with chat while you're mixing. Oh, hey, Natasha is here. The budget preppers. <laughs> Megan is making a... Um, banana nut bread. She is Muffins. making it vegan. Is well, that right? It can be, but it can be it vegan. Can. Yeah, it's a vegan wow. mix, but I'm using dairy milk, so it's not going to be vegan anymore. Oh, <laughs> well, never mind. Nick, but Nick's you, that. <laughs> the bananas are used as. I mean, it has. <laughs> oat flour, brown sugar, chocolate chips, cocoa butter, sunflower. Cinnamon baking, soda, baking powder, and sea salt. So, yeah. All right. Oh, Natasha, Natasha said a recipe is just a suggestion. I'm going to have to agree with that. Just like I, the, the cattle panels are just a suggestion for animals. Yeah, for the cows to stay in. Yeah. It's just a suggestion for the cows to stay in there. It's not yes. really going to stop them. It's just a mere suggestion. Well, Natasha, you and Megan would get along swimmingly in the kitchen and <laughs> I would have to go to another room and bite my fingernails because yeah. I am a recipe follower. I, I guess I'm just a, I don't know. We'll call her old school without calling her old. Okay. Well, that's okay because <laughs> I am old. Uh, <laughs> uh, most of the good cooks don't measure. Is what Christy said. Yes, you are right about that. And Megan is a fantastic cook. We're going to say measure with your heart for every ingredient. So at that point, you're making up the recipe, you know? <laughs> Megan, does hot pepper flakes bring back any hot memories? That's yeah. Jesse wants to know. My eyebrows are sweating thinking about it. Thank you. <laughs> My eyebrows are sweating. <laughs> oh, that looks delicious. Wait, hold on. Yeah. Hold on. Oh, that looks so good. Now, the chocolate chips are already in the mix. They were already in the mix. So, you could, I mean, it's already mixed. So, yeah, never mind. I was going to say you could use your own, but. Oh, I hope you see that, Wendy. If you're just listening and walking around giving all the contractors the what for, uh, Glenda said, I'm a little late in saying this because I was making dinner in the crock pot, which, woot, woot. Okay, yeah. we're going to give you 10 points for that. Yeah. Um, but Wendy, I've missed you too. So oh, see, okay. you're so missed, Wendy. Everybody. Oh, she's Linda said if you find any problems with the screw lid, use a cork for the opening of the bottle. It is easier also. Mm. The bud files is here. I don't know if I mentioned that. Uh good morning. Good morning. Joe just happened to come out at a really good time, come down at a really good time. Yeah. So I asked him to uh strong arm that for me and he did so oh nice oh he nice earned, nice he earned his dinner for the day <laughs> now wendy said i used to go to the apple cart in cartersville georgia 26 years ago might not still be there because wendy used to live here in georgia oh um, wow. i don't know i am not i'm probably about 45 minutes to an hour away from cartersville so i've not uh been over there uh Natasha said we use banana water too. She uses it too on her plants. 
I didn't uh, know that that was a thing. That is like, I'm shook. <laughs> uh, Suburban Hillbilly said, that's not how you use a mixer. And I'm assuming that's when you were going. Ah, 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 yeah. ah, ah. So part of my. I, again, I already said she's not a rule follower. So no. tools become multi-use tools. No, I halfway through, I was like, oh, I'll use a mixer because this will make it super easy. Instructions specifically say whisk. But I was like, I'm going to do my own thing started to do it it didn't work so i said instructions are instructions for a reason let me stop <laughs> so i uh, made a fool of myself on camera was hoping no one noticed but that's okay <laughs> i was trying to skirt right by it it's if fine. i was trying to hide it i would have stepped out of the camera honestly <laughs> I, 49 I, more said assembly until outsourced which i remember when uh lowe's started outsourcing that Fired and then rehired after 30 days, then receiving and CDL delivery driver. Wow. You oh. were, yeah, for, well, for, you were there 10 years. So yeah, you moved around. So that's, I can, I can relate. All right. I'm going to have to make two batches. Okay. But so anybody know any good diabetic recipes? Oh, hold on. I'll put you on. I'll bigify you. Oh, so we can see them in the tins. Oh, they look delicious. Mm -hmm. Now, what are we on the oven? 350. And we're going to go at whatever it. Whatever your heart says. <laughs> it, yeah, whatever my, my temperature heart says. It says 25 minutes. I don't think it's going to take that long um, because I have, a, I have a gas oven. And uh, so, yeah, I mean, that will burn the heck out of these. Now, um, Wendy is like, yay, vegan is the way I have to go. So can you show her that package again? Yeah, give me one second. Okay. So we're going to see how these are, Wendy. Um, now, Nisi was like, ew, gross, vegan. But we used to be vegan. So she was like, ew, those are going to be nasty. Like, those look disgusting. She tried them, and then she was like, wow, can you make those every week? So, <laughs> and John tried them, too, and he loves them. So oh, they are called Go Nanas. Go Nanas. Chip, banana bread mix and so what the original recipe calls for is um, medium bananas maple syrup um, and you can sub agave or honey which a lot of vegans will there's a big debate about whether honey is vegan or not so yeah yeah with that what you will um, okay. two tablespoons of non-dairy milk but i had dairy so i just used dairy so you can i've used oat milk for the recipe before and it was really good um, okay and then two tablespoons of coconut oil. You can also sub canola oil, avocado oil, butter, or yogurt. Oh. So there's a lot of substitutes that I really like for this recipe. If you, like, literally, it's whatever you have in your kitchen. Yeah, I was going to say, you can go so many directions with it. That's good. Yeah. That's good. Yeah, this will be the first time I'm doing it with the, uh, sorry, with the honey So and the vanilla. So we'll see how that turns out. But I made 12, I think. And I still have quite a bit in here. So I'm going to have oh, to. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah. You're going to have to have two batches. Um, it made a lot. Just wow. said, wow, it's deja vu. Um, I'm listening to my so a video, a recording of myself that's saying yeah. that's what not I what I paid for yeah. it. <laughs> Jamie wants to try a sugar-free whoopie pie. Oh, yummy. Yeah. That does sound good. Oh, Nanny Tam. Annie, Nanny Tam said, I'll have to look you up. And uh, it sounds like she's got some, maybe some good diabetic recipes. She's looking. <laughs> Annie, our urban homestead said she is looking for some. I have a, um, a really good two of them, actually. My I've had sitting on one of them. Um, when I was vegan, these were like good books for me. Uh huh. This was number Eat what one. You love. Yeah. Yeah. This is that Danielle one. Walker. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Walkers and or Walker. Yeah. So I don't know. It's gluten free, dairy free and paleo recipes, but they're really they are really good. That's yeah. Let me post that up for just a second while I go. OK. All you. right. <laughs> that way people can see it. Good morning, Helena M. How are you? Uh, Natasha, Nanny Tam wants to know, is that to keep pests away or is it beneficial? And then that's the second one. Vegan in seven. What so is this? Vegan? Is 
seven ingredients or fewer for each recipe, which I thought oh. was super easy because a lot of people think vegan, complex, too many steps, too many recipe, like all that. There is like a pesto pasta that I made in here. Um, oh. I have like so many pages tab. <clears throat> Black bean chili. <coughs> Excuse me. Quinoa bowls. I got to find this pesto. Oh, here it is. This is the... Oh, oil-free pesto with pasta. So if you look at how yummy that is. Oh my gosh, that looks delicious. It's very green, but it is super good and it's really, really, really easy. And actually you would love it because it has green beans, broccoli, and basil, um, and then lemon juice. So like it's literally all the things we love. You know, things that are naturally not green used to scare me. Yeah. Uh, but not anymore. Like pasta is normally not green, but now I look at it and I think that's got some kind of flavor in it. It's either going to be a vegetable or it's going to be a pesto flavor. So I'm not really scared of it anymore. So that's, I mean, we're, we're growing, we're growing and moving on. Hello, Doc Roper. <laughs> Good morning. To be adventurous with our eating. It is. is. It is. Uh, oh, Wendy said she's tearing up. Aww. Aww. Chicken food and eating as well. Hopefully not the chicken food. Um, yeah. <laughs> I want to know what chicken food you're making. I uh, love the chickens are my babies. Um, let me tell you something. Megan has fallen completely in love with a couple of the chickens. One of the roosters paces by the fence when she comes to the pen to feed and she just reaches in and he just sits there and she pets the side of him and shim. And he's, oh, good boy. Look at that good boy. I mean, <laughs> he just want her to love on him. That's it. That's it. And he's got yep. lady friends. So he loves that human, that interaction. Yep. So, you know, I told you that was my my favorite chicken in the very beginning. And then he started crowing and I realized he wasn't a chicken anymore. <laughs> yeah. He will literally do like what looks like a house. <laughs> like he's like, yeah. <laughs> he said, "I'm gonna teach you how to doggy." Literally, <laughs> and then he said, "Please touch me, please." Yes. Touch yes. Me. <laughs> I, I missed out. I already told Nisi if we ever get any animals besides dogs, we will be getting a chicken. Oh. In <laughs> fact, I know that there's a, a hard boundary between those two. Like, there's a very big difference. There's a big lifestyle change that comes with the chicken. Yes. But I um I want a chicken. I want a chicken so bad. Yeah. And she loves farm chicken. fresh eggs. So yes. I think this is a win-win for both of us. Yes. And Nisi is amazed that Megan knows which eggs come from which girls. Listen, my um, girl, she lays bullet eggs. <laughs> they, they are the shape of bullets. They're <laughs> like <laughs> elongated. Yeah. <laughs> I won't tell you what Nisi said. I'm gonna keep that one to myself. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, oh. I miss the, I do miss the chickens. Those are my <laughs> babies. And I like to put little snacks together for them. Um, yes, she does. She'll get some nuts and some some greens out of the yard and uh just anything she can find, some spinach and oh my gosh, Shim's lady, when she takes spinach. She will literally reach through the pen to snatch it out of Megan's hand. That's yeah. that's hysterical to watch. <laughs> no, she'll pluck you. You got to be careful. So Natasha said, Nanny Tam, it's actually an ancient technique and it is a fertilizer, but it has to be aged. Can't just be put day, day old pee on your plants. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I read half um, of that and was like, wait a minute, I missed something here. Yes. <laughs> well, I think there was another, yeah, another comment before, which I've seen a lot of people urinate directly on their plants. Now, I know it's not good for your dogs to do it. Your dogs will kill your plants. But are you kidding? Especially citrus plants. Yes, it's something um, that's in our urine. Um, and I'm not sure what it is. Something that your kid somehow that your kidneys break it down or something. Yes, okay. always are always awesome. But they can't break down coffee that well. Okay, sounds good. I know, right? What's up with that? Okay. Um, Wendy said, I feel bad. I've even missed being a guest on Glenda's mom channel. I was looking forward to it. 
I cried the other day because the house, this house is stressing me to the max and I'm behind on planting and on YouTube. Girl, you know what? Don't, don't stress it. Do not stress that stuff. Okay. God is good all the time. He's going to make it happen. He's going to open a door for you of a day when you don't have anything and you'll be able to plant. And he's going to open that door for you and make sure that uh, the contractors, you know, do what they're supposed to do one day. So just don't stress. Why are you stressing? I know <laughs> you have to go through it to get to the other side and he's going to bring you through this. Okay. Just believe in that. So hmm. I, hope, I hope that little pep talk helped. <laughs> yeah, me too. Where'd you go? Are giving, uh, I'm trying to figure out how I can get into this chat. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. I just can't see you. Okay, cool. Logan is an example of why they put warning tags on soap. Do not eat these pods. <laughs> you would not try to cook them. No, okay? why just, would I ever eat a pod? No, I, I, said, I chopped the banana peels into one inch pieces. I put, put in, I put water in a jar. Yeah, if I could speak, I'd be dangerous. Leave in the mm -hmm. fridge for about three days. So that's how she does it. Oh, mm -hmm. and Glenda um, at Grace and Fire, uh, Annie, Glenda said that she has, uh, her mom has some diabetic friendly recipes on her channel mm -hmm. at the Ann Lynn show, the Ann Lynn show or the official Ann Lynn show. It's one of those two. Mm. I wanted to tell you too, I showed you a picture, but I had to tell you that um, I think that, yeah, vegan food does not have to be nasty. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It does not. It actually can taste very good. And it doesn't have to be like flavorless either. <laughs> um, yeah. But I was going to say that orzo is the first time I've ever made orzo. And I have to, have to, have to make it for you when I come back. Because when I made it, I made it with chicken stock. So, and it was like half chicken stock, half water instead of just full pot of water. And it is a pasta. So, yeah. and it, but it cooked like rice. And so... I cooked it in the Dutch oven and it had oh. a way better cook on it. Um, I slightly oiled the Dutch oven beforehand, but it like didn't stick at all. Like it was, <laughs> it turned out so good. And then I did like a lemon garlic butter um, oil sauce to toss it mm. in. Wow. That Girl, sounds delicious. You would tear it up and oh my gosh, we could put whatever on top of it. I did scallops, but we could make, whatever with it. So yeah, we definitely hmm. need to make some ore. So I'm thinking. Yeah. That sounds, How that sounds wonderful. And uh, Jesse dropped the link for that book. Oh, nice. Yeah. Yes. That, that was like three years ago when we were vegan, but I mean, this was like a staple. I mean, I had no clue what I was doing. So um, you were cooking out of it every day. Just about, I mean, like literally if you look at it, everything is like tabbed. It looks like a <laughs> you have. But I also really like this one and I tabbed a lot in this one too. And um, this one's a little bit more, has like a lot more steps, like buffalo stuffed sweet potatoes. But it uses a lot of meat alternatives if you mm -hmm. go meat free. I mean, there's tons of snacks, like side dishes. Ooh, that looks good. Roasted lemon, lemon chili asparagus. Mm. So, I mean, there's now Natasha has a couple of recipe books that she's actually made. Uh, she has really? like the, the download PDF on her channel. I think it's on her website. She has a link to her website on her channel, if I'm not mistaken. We need a drum um, for that. Yeah. Glenda said, got to run, taking my sister out for lunch. It's almost her lunchtime. Catch y'all later. Bye, Glenda. Love you. Have Bye. a good day. Nanny Tam, who are you talking about? Who has a new channel? Are you talking about Wendy, the Mrs. Hardnack Farms channel? Thank you so much, Linda. I appreciate that. I mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. The other um, thing that I was going to tell you about this book, too, that I just realized or remembered is that in the beginning, it helps you establish your support system and your um, pantry and then uh -huh. ingredient glossary and substitutions in case like the first ingredient doesn't work for you with yeah. meal planning, recipe icons, and meal plans already in the book. Mm. So it kind of gives you, like if you start from scratch, like you cleaned out this entire kitchen and had nothing and you said I'm 100% yeah. vegan, 
yeah. it tells you everything that you're going to need for 95% of the recipes that are in here and what you'll be using them for. Oh, wow. Or a substitution. Tooch. Tooch. Sub substitution. <laughs> there we go. Substitution. <laughs> Substitute fruity. This, this part right here. A tootie ta, tootie ta, tootie ta ta. A tootie ta, a tootie ta, a tootie ta. Anyways, so they have like arms back. Lit oh my gosh, together. I will do the whole dance right now. Don't play with me. Don't come for me. Sorry, later. we're throwing it back to kindergarten for Megan. That was a kindergarten song. That was my dance too, man. That was. I will get that. That was. Okay, so um, here's your recipe. Screenshot that. Cooked some tools, cooked oatmeal. <laughs> so you can make your babies some, <laughs> my babies that you've adopted. Saved to my iPad. Okay, nice. cooked lentils and cooked oatmeal with cinnamon. Time to their lentils for health. I cook for the animals so they can eat clean as well. I don't feed my chickens, corn, or GMO food. Okay, so I'm glad that we're talking about this because... I like to every now and again feed the dogs things that are not just like dry kibbles, um, yeah. they're like healthy coat. And I have one with like a little drier skin. So we made like yogurt, frozen blueberry snacks for them, <laughs> which they love. She really did it. Yes. Yeah. They were easy. You just put it in a, a like a muffin pan or like muffin cups and you can just pop them out freeze greek yogurt with nothing else in it with blueberries on top and they love them and then you can boil carrots and beef broth and then freeze them and they're also like a good, good like gnawing snack but i cannot put i cannot figure out like a good recipe or what to give them for dinner these are just snacks so yeah i've tried chicken i've tried rice they'll eat it Tried pumpkin yeah i've tried pumpkin um and we do coconut oil in their food too to help with their coats. But mm -hmm. if anybody has any good dog food suggestions, I will take that. Says you can also use milkweed nuts for the pesto. Also, I grow those milkweed plants, have flowers and seeds and nuts for pesto. Then, oh, that sounds good. I'm assuming that instead of using pine nuts. Oh, I don't know. Oh, okay, probably that would be because pine nuts is in pesto. So I would assume that that's what she's what she's using that for. I have a hen who I thought was a rooster until she laid an egg. I called her Attila the hen because of her attitude. Well, uh, Shem is Shem because at first I thought it was a she and now it's a him. So that's how she got, the, he got the name Shem. See, I'm still wanting to call him her. <laughs> no, for real. Yeah, I mean, she used to, you know how friendly Fran comes to the gate and she paces and yeah. she wants you to come in and love on her. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's how Shem was. I mean, and would just sit beside me and coo and coo. And I'm like, she, I even have a video where I'm like, she's my favorite and she knows it. She knows <laughs> it. She works it. She and then it. she turns out to be a dude. <laughs> um, and he said, I had I hid some lentils in my homemade pasta sauce the other day. Hubby and son loved it. Ooh, that sounds good. I love lentils. They are packed with iron. and They are so good for you. Yeah, they're yummy, too. Um, Ooh. I saw Lauren made it in. Nice. Do what? I saw Lauren made it in. Yes. I haven't gotten down there. I guess I am behind. I see life in the Piedmont. Hello, hello. Good morning to you. Yeah, and I saw someone did say that they they feed their dog um, like healthy whole homemade food as well because one of their dogs passed from a recall on the dried food. Oh no! Yeah, I don't remember who said it, but I told you that these things were not going to take that long. Yeah, like crispy and yummy. Those Ooh, edges. Are they look delicious. Yeah, girl. Wow. Um, Jesse said, I used to pee on the plants when I was very young after coming home full of beer. The hops and barley in the <laughs> urine helps the plants grow like Jack and the Beanstalk. <laughs> okay, okay, Jesse, that's a little so, too much. FYI. Uh, if you say so, my friend, if you say so, we yes, exactly. take word for that one. Lynn the Oki is in. Hello, hello. Hello. Lauren. I am, am not, I not 
eat these right now because they are so hot. I don't know if you can see it. They're smoking. Yeah. Look at oh my god. Oh wow, they look delicious. Yum. Oh wow, mm -hmm. I can see them smoking. Yeah. Wow. So, Woo, buddy. Oh, yeah. Annie has a new channel at our urban homestead. Oh, nice. Annie, I need to uh, catch up then because I did not realize that. Mm. Uh, words are hard today, Megan. Yeah, um, no, and I talked to you. I know it. <laughs> good morning, Tiffany at Canadian Family Life. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, Wendy said, Megan, I make our own dog food instead of that, that dry garbage we lost. Oh, that's who said it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was wondering. All right, so I lied. Hey, I'm going to try it. Whether it's hot or not. Mm -hmm. There she is. I knew I'd make it down there. Hello, Miss Lauren. Megan is making some muffins. They're so oh my gosh, they look delicious. Mm, 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 mm. And you can't tell that they're vegan. Hey, Karen Breast. She came in this morning too. Yeah, they're very good. <laughs> I had to do my food dance, you know. <laughs> <laughs> let the food know yeah, I love it too. you know lauren even said it i guess this is a house where they dance for food yeah <laughs> with their food linda said <laughs> <"Lauren>, <laughs> yeah I'll, I'll work for food i'll dance for food i'm just i love food okay um linda said megan you talk like your mother mm -hmm. <laughs> she does she does sometimes you don't know if it's me or if it's her on the phone she was um, editing a video, I think, and was like, um, I cannot tell if it's me or you talking. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and I bet Jesse's already seen that. Nanny Tam was asking if you could put Annie's uh, new channel, Budget Meal Planning. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, that sounds interesting. Okay, so everybody, if, let me see, let me scroll down a little bit first and see if Jesse found it. I can't tell. Uh, Sorry, I'm not being very much help with this chat. Oh, but, 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 uh, Templin Acres, good morning. Good morning. Simply Jan Homestead's in here. I am way behind. More That's than I thought. Girl, I made banana pecan muffins yesterday, Virginia Alexander said. That Ooh. sounds delicious. Yeah. Banana pecan muffins. Dang, I would smack somebody for that. Yeah, you would. And don't let it be me. And I'm not sure who, but I just smack anybody that was in the way. I made a pie inside of a cake. Oh, that sounds good. Brampton Gardner, good morning, good morning. That reminds me of like Oreo stuffed cookies. Those are so good. Mm. Mm. Oh, <laughs> yes, they really are. AR Patriot 1776, good morning, good morning to you. How are you? Um, I don't know if he was able to find um, Annie's new link. Annie's new link for her new channel, but everybody give it, try to see if you can find it. Um, and then uh, we'll all, or Annie, can you put it in there? Let me see. I might be able to make Annie a mod. I want to find her. There we go. Our last four are going in the oven. Woohoo! Uh, Okay, Annie, I just made you a mod. Echo. So, so if you want to go in there and drop the link for your new channel, feel free. Uh, that would be awesome. And Annie, everybody that's just coming in, Annie at our Urban Homestead has a new channel. Oh, Nanny Tam said she just put the link. I don't know if it's going to let you. Lynn Yoki, I feel like I always make everyone hungry. <laughs> oh, Brampton Gardner said, I was going to make blueberry scones. Mm, yum. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, she is back in her sewing room, organizing Ooh. patterns, so be listening, but not chatting much. Okay. Oh, you are very welcome, Annie. So go over and give her new channel a... Uh, a sub and a like, please. Um, I'm okay. very excited to see what she has coming up. And I'm assuming maybe she's going to put some diabetic uh, recipes on there as well. If she finds some good ones. You know, it is hard to find some good ones. So, yeah. 
Because a lot of sugar substitutes taste like dookie. Sorry. True. No, no you ain't lying. Okay. No. It, you know, it's one of those things where I'd rather go without the sugar almost. Oh, uh, yeah. Because it's so gross. Yeah. When I was, like, starting to eat better, like, just losing weight, sugar was, like, the biggest thing that I cut out. Mm -hmm. Reincorporating it. I'm just being, like, more mindful about how much. And yeah. Like, grams and stuff. But it's honestly easier than people realize to cut out sugar. It's just mm -hmm. in everything. So you really yes. have to be cautious when you're in the grocery store and, like, look at everything. Even when you don't think sugar's in there, look at it because it's in there. Yeah. I mean, some of the most inconspicuous things you would not realize. Oh, hello, Mr. Johnny. Good morning, Gillum Farms and Teresa Jukiewicz. Good morning. Um, Good. Since we're on Craft and Chat too, I thought I would showcase something that you made for me that I use very often whenever I'm at home. Okay. Uh, and what did I make? Baking. <laughs> You made all oh, my little turkey. my this little turkey bowl. Yeah, my bowl holder. Yes. Well, I use it as a pot holder sometimes if I just need to not place it on the counter. No, it's flat. Yeah. <laughs> You've like mashed it into a flatness. <laughs> well, you know, we're not gonna talk about it. Anyway, so I use it's supposed to be like that, you know. Um, anyway, you get the idea. But yes. I put everything on my counter, which I've recently learned it's not good for the counter. Yeah, when she was here, I was like, don't put that hot stuff on the counter. <laughs> <laughs> so, so Acres said, very nice bowl holder. Yes, I made a Sporky one because Sporky is uh, Nisi's favorite. Sporky. Uh, forky. forky. Sorry, why do I say Sporky? Well, because he is a spork. So, I mean, you're not wrong, but. Okay, all right. Thank you. you. Spider-Man, the Little Mermaid. A little better. And Forky. Yes, Megan is the Little Mermaid. That is Megan. That is Megan, the Little Mermaid. Yeah. My friend's daughter was like scared for the first two years that I knew her because she kept telling her every time she'd see me, it's the Little Mermaid. You cannot tell her that you know she's the Little Mermaid, though, or else she has to go back to the water. And I was like, you're so mean. That's my friend Bree, who I went oh to go God. see her daughter. Yeah, she's, I mean, a mess. <laughs> she's so mean. I was like, don't do that to her. So every time she'd come in, she'd hide behind her mom's leg and say, hi, little mermaid, and then walk out. And I'm like, what is wrong with you? <laughs> Why are you doing that? You are torturing your child. That is <laughs> for <laughs> real. Mm -mm. Karen, Karen said that um, her friend made her a bowl holder and she loves it. Yeah, yeah those they're... are really nice. They are really nice. And I just learned how to make them last year. You whipped them up quick, too. I, I did, too. Yeah. yeah, I did a few. I did for, um, so we've got, it is 10.53. Oh. Wow. Um, so we're not leaving just yet, but I do have to um, let everybody know. Oh, yeah. Mm. That yeah. Megan and I are hosting a collab. It's just a short little two-week collab. From April 1st to April 15th. Oh, I thought you were making me pause. I was like, pause. What am I pausing for? <laughs> no. <laughs> are those bowl koozies hard to make? Dawn, they are really not. Uh, I am not much of a quilter. And I was able to whip them up. Just Google uh, how to make um, bowl koozies. And they're really easy. They're, they're easier than I thought they were. I would definitely say the one tip, there is batting in the middle. There is a batting that you can get that, because some batting is made where it has particles of plastic in it and things like that. You want to get the other batting. It's a little bit more expensive, but uh, you don't want to, otherwise you wouldn't be able to put it in the microwave. Uh, if you use the cheaper batting because it has plastic and it might melt and then everything will be disgusting. And then, you know, it might just go sideways really bad in the microwave. So if you're going to make them for somebody else that, you know, uses the microwave, I would say get the more expensive batting or if you want to yourself. If not, just that's just a little tidbit that I learned uh, uh, about four or five bowl cozies in. So I started ordering the other stuff. 
So. Johnny said, I see someone has an iPhone. I have an iPhone and I have a um, uh, iPad. Yes. <laughs> so yeah, I, and all the things Apple. Yes, she does. She's the Apple girl. I don't steer the Apple far girl. away from Apple. There we go. So anyways, I'll go back to the collab. So we're hosting a two-week collab and it is called Home is Where the Health Is. So... The debut video will be moi, and that will, so I will kick it off on April the 1st. Um, we don't just have 15 channels, though, guys. We have, like, 25 channels that have um, just completely jumped right on board. They were so excited to get involved in this homeless, hashtag homeless where the health is because we're all trying to eat better. We're all trying to eat cleaner. Um, we're all on a budget. I mean, everybody's on a budget and I mean, Megan found a great deal on bananas this morning. I could think of a million things you could make with bananas, um, uh, even just like dehydrate it and make banana chips to snack on. Ooh, but yeah. anyways, you're going to get one to two recipes every day, the first through the 15th. So I'm very excited. So be on the lookout for that coming up soon. I, I am so excited. I know me too. For some different to see like how I feel like everybody always brings something super different. Mm -hmm. So like, this is going to be. Yes. Awesome. Yeah. And it can be recipes that you're using instead of like a hamburger helper box, uh, your own version, which if you've ever read the back of a hamburger helper box, there is way more than just noodles and a little bit of uh, um beef um bouillon in there There's a lot more stuff in a hamburger helper box and i used to love hamburger helper so um anyways there's going to be recipes there's going to be um condiments there's going to be uh like syrups that you make if you have a cough or something like that there's going to be some syrup recipes for you because i always seem i know one person who's going to make a syrup thing and I always have to look really hard to Google that recipe. So I'm glad because now I can just go back to my collab and I will have a playlist on my channel. So I can just go back to the playlist and say, oh, there it is. I know exactly where that recipe is. <laughs> that, that, yeah. And that'll be good, too, for me to be able to reflect on when I'm in Belgium. Yeah. To be able to watch everyone's That's videos cool. and we can have yeah. a playlist. Easy I to find. Know. I hope all of y'all heard that last week that Megan is going to Belgium. So moving, moving yeah. for three to four years, four, yeah. possibly three. Yeah. Okay. We're I get worst case and then best case. Yeah. <laughs> I like to present the worst case so that you're aware, you know? Yes. Will I have a hashtag for the playlist? Yes. It will be hashtag home is where the health is all lowercase all together. And we have a thumbnail. And we have a thumbnail. Yes. So you'll be looking for that. It's super pretty. Actually, I think I have it saved on the desktop. I might be able to present it. Oh, pop it up. Yeah, pop it up. Jesse taught me how to do that. <laughs> taught me. Uh, you have made a weapon out of her, Jesse. Yeah, he's learned me a thing or two. Let's <laughs> see where it is. I know it's here on my desktop somewhere. Or I thought it was. I can't wait for our collab. And I also cannot wait for um, another collab that's happening in April. And you know that you know what I'm talking about. If you know, you know. If you know, you know. Yes. I am very excited for that one, too. I'm yes. Storming too. And I'm going to try out something tonight that potentially could be for that collab. Ooh, that sounds good. I'm ready for that. Okay. Mm -hmm. So let's see if I can get back. Yeah, you got to work within tabs and tabs. Okay, so I'm going to present it. Uh, what did Jesse say? When she moves to Belgium, she will probably not want to come back after she experiences the European lifestyle. Don't say that. She is going to miss her mama. Yeah, and sometimes I feel like a fish out of water because I'm not. Sometimes I have etiquette and sometimes I don't. So <laughs> you never know. You never yeah, thank know. You. I'm okay, gonna get you, guys, of here. <laughs> you guys ready to see it? Here comes the I am. thumbnail that you are going to be looking for. 
Dun, da, da, da. It's so pretty. I love it. Can you see it? Yeah, I can see it. How cute okay. is it? There we go. Okay. Now I can see. Jessie, so you literally have made a weapon out of her. Yes, you have. I know just enough, Jesse, to be dangerous on my computer. <laughs> to be very lethal. <laughs> hey, Dara. Hey, Ann Hines. How are you? <laughs> yes. So excited. Good for morning, you. Tamara. <laughs> so anyways, so that is what you're going to be looking for, guys. Um, and I think it's a beautiful, I hope that people can see it. I bet if they're on their phone, let's see if I can. Yeah, no, you can see it. Make it a little yeah. bigger. There you go. That's how it is. Look how pretty it is. And guess who designed that? Mm-hmm. Just Ginger, saying, not for nothing, home. That state. little lady down there designed <laughs> that thumbnail that is all beautiful. Echo, <laughs> just missed timer. <laughs> this uh, is the one. I think the question was asked last week during our grill session um, when I was skewing you. Oh, um, geez. <laughs> but they asked what you missed the most that was like from offset off. I don't remember how they phrased it. Anyways, what you miss the most of being like on not, grid. Yeah, on grid. There you go. Um, if I was asked that question, <laughs> my answer would be closet space and echo. And echo. Yeah. <laughs> closet space and echo. <laughs> because that girl gets me. Through, okay. If I'm, I've got hands dirty, like not free to do anything. She's setting a timer for me. She's playing music for me. She yeah. loves me. She will answer my questions. She'll play fart sounds if I ask her to. She'll do whatever I need. Measures for me. Yeah. <laughs> whatever I need. Okay. okay. Well, you know what? Echo may not always be around. So don't get too dependent on Echo. Okay. Well, okay. You know what? Whatever. I don't mean to be a Debbie Downer, but okay, you sure you don't. Sure you don't. Prepare mm -hmm. for something like that because once <laughs> I went off grid, I had to. Oh, <laughs> there's your thumbs up again. I don't know why yeah. it's doing that. I think it's because of the way I'm like I'm sitting like yes. this. <laughs> it's a thumb. I don't know. Oh, Tamara said I miss your shorts, Ginger and Megan. <laughs> oh, soon. Yes, we I united and it feels so good. Hey, hey, <laughs> yeah. Sammy is looking at me like, girl, you need to stop embarrassing yourself. Yes. Sammy is her dog, <laughs> one of yeah. her dogs. She is too. The other is sunbathing, so and we're gonna be grand dog sitting while she's in Belgium. Yeah, are you excited to have? I am, I a am. Dog. It's gonna be a dog I'm, farm. <laughs> I know, I'm just, I'm just praying that um, uh, Zoe is and Rainy will get along. Yeah, that's my biggest fear because this is Rainy's domain, and uh, Zoe has her domain, and her being uprooted. I just I don't want it to. Oh wow! Yes. Will Megan be able to live stream from Germany? I don't know. Yeah, but she hears you talking about her. Uh huh. Um, we're gonna take you on the go because she did just go. Yes, the puppy made three. Yes, suburban hillbilly. And then when, <laughs> when they move, I'll have five. Oh, wow. <laughs> He's sunbathing and she was laid out. And then you said her name and she sat up and said, who talking about me right now? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then the other one is over there. I don't know if you can see him. Oh. Yeah, right there. Get your ball, boy. What are you doing, Bobby? Yeah, they're, they're very... Um, they are my children, my little yes. children. So they are. They are. <laughs> and my kiddos. Mm -hmm. And she's a German short hair pointer. Yes, she yes. is a German short hair pointer. She, um, Nisi was very scared the other day because there was two birds fighting in the backyard, like oh. play, playing with each other. And then she went out and uh, she maybe jumped and bumped noses with one. And she was like, get down. I'm so scared. Don't bring me a bird. No. <laughs> don't do that. Please. I don't want you bringing me any prizes and leaving them on the doorstep. No, that's how she shows her love, though. <laughs> yes. <laughs> mm. Yeah. Oh, goodness. Well, I'm glad that you um, had complete and utter success with those muffins. Uh, 
Macy's going to be very happy when she gets home. Now, a, Jesse said yes, but Megan and live stream, but Megan will be able to live stream, but she will be five hours ahead of ESP. Yes. So if it's 11 here, it would be four there. Yeah. We so have a we friend. Start, oh, so that's good. Cause if it's, if we start at 10, then it can, you can start at three. That will be like the middle of your day. If, if you want to pop into crafting, I'm not even thinking about that. Yeah. That's I like, like it. That's a long time away. So we're not even going to think about it. Cause then I had to think about yesterday the plugs are different, which I knew we were going to have to get like adapters because all the European plugs are different, but the voltage is also different in the home. So I might have to get rid of my washer and dryer and my Dyson may not be, it'll be maybe too strong for Europe. Okay. <laughs> the blow dryer. Mm -hmm. Wow. I didn't realize the wattage was different. Mm -hmm. But you don't think if you guys are on base that they'll have that kind of geared towards to mm -hmm. make it a little more user friendly for you guys because of that fact? No. Okay. We had a friend who did it in Scotland. She took her Dyson and I guess it's the same thing. They're different. And um, her Dyson blew up. And so she reached out to Dyson and Dyson gave her a new one. So, yeah. But, I mean... Wow. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm not trying to risk it for the biscuit with my dad. No, I wouldn't. Baby. That's my baby. So, yeah, no. I was going to say, you may, that may end up being the one where they say, nah, too many people have made this mistake. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm just thinking that all my experience with the laundromat is maybe helping me for Europe. So I told Nacy when she said that, I was like, great. Now we can go to the laundromat and knock out four loads of laundry at the same time. That's fine. Yes. Yes. Optimistic. That is true. Right? Yeah. Optimistic. Hey, you're looking at the bright sides of everything. And I admire so much your adventure, adventuresome uh, outlook on it. Mm -hmm. uh, I would be a little scared. I know you're a little scared, but you're more curious than you are scared. So that way it's not holding you back yeah. from from being happy uh, yeah. to, to get to new, do something. Um, Suburban Hillbilly said, what about the puppy she got in Georgia? I think she actually, that puppy ended up going to one of their friends mm -hmm. um, who lost a puppy very similar. Yeah. And uh, I'm not sure of the whole story, but he is living not very far uh, from them. Yeah. Yeah. They lost, they were taking their time with getting a new dog. Yeah. They lost a dog that they've had for like 14 years. So, um, that was a hard one for them. Yeah. Yeah. And then they, they, they lived, in love with him and they, I, yeah, they lived in Arizona and that, that dog got out when they were in Arizona. No, uh, El Paso, that mm. dog got out and they thought they lost it for like three and a half weeks. Mm -hmm. uh, it was gone and <laughs> when the dog came back they always said she was never the same so they said she went to nom and back <laughs> she went to nom and back <laughs> they always say like she's seen some things and nom and like she just showed up at their doorstep one day and was like i'm back i'm what back up? girls <laughs> yeah <laughs> but, like that's a that was a hard one for them because she was such a good dog but they, they their heart is overflowing and full now so oh that's so sweet that was so sweet and i don't think he was i don't think zoe was feeling the vibes with him yeah she's a little tough to acclimate i mean sammy is so docile he's my my boy he's seven and a half se seven years old and he's so docile i mean like anybody could come up to him and pretty much like bite him and he would just be like okay i'll take mm -hmm. it <laughs> and like he's just a sweetest boy i mean like yes. the, the best dog but he is exactly what she needed and he's the best big brother to her mm. so if she wait he waits for her like to go to the bathroom when they go out together Aww. like if he finishes first he'll wait for her like to finish too and then they'll run in together like he never leaves her by herself so that's so sweet it and is so Zoe was a, is a service dog or was a service dog? So she was somebody's dog. She wasn't a service dog, but she was somebody who is in the services dog. And he trained her like a service dog. 
Okay. So he did some hardcore like drill training with her. And so she's, although she's fluffy and fat and like loves to sunbathe now, she's actually a well-skilled and conditioned dog. Yeah. But she will pretend and she will melt your heart um, and make you think otherwise. So yeah. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Goodness. <laughs> Oh, Jan has to run and get strawberry plants planted. She said she'll keep us running and listening. We're probably going to head out of here in just a minute or two. Scott is, with Ramblin' with the Brums is on today, oh of course. He has his procrastination Thursday at noon. And then tonight is Homestead Hangout. So make sure that you tune in for that. Um and I miss you, Megan. I miss, I miss you, you too. You know who's going to be at uh, Homestead Hangout, right? Who? Me. You. Me you. and Nisi. And Nisi's very nervous. So you guys have to. I hope she's not watching right now. I'm really sorry. I think she's taking a test. So I'm going to say this thinking that she's not listening. Anyways, she's very nervous. So you guys have to make her feel comfy because she's like, yeah. I hate being on camera. I will be your stunt double. I will do everything you need me to do off camera. I will give you all the ingredients you want. Please do not make me be on camera. And so I was like, please do homestead hangout. Okay. Like, <laughs> okay. So I think what I'm going to do is set up like a tripod uh -huh. for us in front of our couch. So you guys can feel like you're in our living room with us, you know, like yeah. chill it on our couch with us, you know? Yes. That'll be yeah. awesome. Just dad and I did that one time too. And we were so far away from the couch, from mm -hmm. the camera that mm -hmm. people didn't feel like that they were part of it. So don't make the same mistake I did. Okay. Well, I'm going to hope that my tripod's not shorter than me. So, yeah. Oh, no, I mean, far away. No, I, I know, but I'm okay. hoping to just like set it in the middle of the room. Yeah. Anyways. Okay. Well, <laughs> we'll test it out. We've got like six, seven hours till then. So, we're yeah. Gonna, we're giving a test run. There's the Vineyard Chicks Homestead. Hello. Oh, hello. <laughs> Good morning. We were just about to get off of here. Uh, they were so sweet. though. So, they were so sweet on our last homestead hangout. I felt like they were in the comments section, like dropping tons of questions. They were laughing their butts off. Like they had so much fun. I forgot to touch on that and like talk to you about it. But my goodness, they were so cute. I oh, you were grilling me like last yeah. week on homestead hangout. I couldn't yeah. see because I was too far away from the corner of the computer. I couldn't see the chat, but was Megan was me in the chat, throwing me the questions. Um, just she was going ham on it. She is good. She's a good multitasker. It was a hot sauce. Yeah. So she wasn't allowed to look anyways. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't. I wasn't allowed to know what the questions were ahead of time. I wasn't allowed to see any of the questions because she wanted to ask them in order. It was crazy. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Yeah. So anyways, all right, guys, we're going to let you go. We love you. Thank you very much for stopping by this morning. Don't forget to go over to Scott's at New, well, in 45 minutes, okay? Ramble with drums, Procrastination Thursday. We Woo! love you, and we will see you tonight on Homestead Hangout. See you later. Bye. <laughs>